Hi there, Vicky here. On today's Craft Artist tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export your digikits off your old laptop and computer onto an external hard drive. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, you need to locate your digikits on your old laptop and computer. So if you've still got Craft Artist installed on those devices, what I'd ask you to do is open it up. So open Craft Artist on your old laptop and computer because this is one of the easiest ways to find your digikits. So then what I want you to do is go to Tools, scroll down to Options, and then when this is opened, go to Digikit Locations. Now for me personally, I take a photo and then I can use that as reference when I need to find the files or you can write uh, these locations down on a piece of paper. So once you've done that, click OK and then minimize Craft Artist. Then what you need to do next is go into your search bar here and then click File Explorer. Well, mine's going to come up straight away because I've done this multiple times now. So double click on File Explorer and then click on the X. Now what I want you to do, I want you to look for your external storage device. So mine, see here, it says Vicky's HD. And then these are what I've already got on this external hard drive. So I'm going to create a file, a new folder now. So when you've clicked on it where it says Vicky's HD and the letter G, you might not say G, you might say F. I'm going to right click. I'm going to scroll down to new and then I'm going to click on folder and then a new folder will appear and while it's highlighted in blue give it a name so I'm going to go 2022 digikits and then click enter okay so as you can see 2022 digikits folder is near the top so then what you need to do, you need to look for the documents or the digikits. So mine are in, let me just scroll this down a little bit, mine are in Windows C, then you go to Users, then you go to Owner, scroll down to Documents, and then scroll down to My Digikits. And then as you'll see, my, my digikits are in here. So what you need to do then, you need to click on your top digikit. Then go over here and scroll down to the bottom. And then click on your bottom digikit. Before you do that, hold the shift key down and then click on it. And it will highlight them all. And then what you need to do next is you need to make sure you can find your folder that you're going to transfer them to so mine's here and while they're all highlighted just hold your mouse button down drag and then drop and then all your digikits will transfer over like so So now they've all been saved, I'm going to click on that 2022 digikits because these are from um, the, my actual computer's hard drive. So I'm going to click on 2022 digikits and they're all here. So <clears throat> what I'm going to show you next, I'm going to actually go back into my, in fact let me go back one, let me go back a step because these are all in my computer in the users tab. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually remove one because this is in my computer system that's linked to my Craft Artist program. So I'm going to remove, let me remove one, I'll remove at the zoo. So I'm going to delete that. That actually can't come because the file opened in Craft Artist too. So let me just cancel that and let me shut that down. So now let me delete it. So 
this actually can't be complete because the file is open in Serif Craft Artist 2. It's not. I don't know why it's saying that. Try again. Well, there we go. So I have now deleted that at the zoo. So I'm just going to open Craft Artist up and just make sure it's been deleted. So once Craft Art is open, I'm just going to click on my DigiKits and see if At The Zoo is there. And I've got At The Farm, but we haven't got At The Zoo, so I've deleted it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how to put it back into your Craft Artist. So click Done, just minimise Craft Artist open your files up again so program files so let's go into digikits 2022 digikits I'm going to click on at the zoom this is how you put them back into your craft artist so at the zoo double click on it and it says here do you want to move the imported digikit files press yes to move them and save to hard and save hard drive space or press no to simply copy these digikits at the zoo i always make a copy i never remove them from the external hard drive in case i have a glitching craft artist so i'm going to say no so the following digikits were imported successfully and it's called at the zoo so i'm going to click ok now i'm going to click this down now sometimes they jump straight across sometimes you have to shut craft artist down and then open it up again for it to you know uh, import so we'll just see if it's imported this way if not we'll shut craft artist down and I'll open it again so go to add items from digikits oh look yeah it's back there look at the zoom so that's how you add them back in so I hope you found this tutorial helpful if there's an easy way to add them all in one go please leave it in the comments below because this is the only way I know how to do it um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and I hope you'll join me on my next video bye bye for now